On Sunday, we got another official trailer for the upcoming season of Doctor Who, and I did cover that, so if you haven't checked out that video, feel free to do so. But we didn't just get a trailer, we also got the episode titles as well as who is writing and directing each episode. This may seem like very underwhelming information, but who knows, let's dive in and see if we can gather anything of interest. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 1 Space Babies, written by Russell T Davies. Graduating from the Snakes on a Plane School of Titles, Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 1 Space Babies will deliver exactly what it promises. As shown in the trailer footage, the 15th Doctor and Ruby encounter a crew of talking babies aboard a spaceship. The title announcement for this episode also includes the silhouette of a monster, and its design is consistent with one of the creatures spotted elsewhere in trailer footage. It seems the space babies are being hunted by monsters on a spaceship, which sounds like a classic Doctor Who format to kick off the show's new era. I did mention in my trailer breakdown that the whole idea of the space baby seems a little too goofy, but then again, we did have Partners in Crime back in 2008 to kick off Series 4, which arguably was much sillier with the adipose, so maybe Russell does still have it in him to pull this sort of thing off. I do find it strange that the Christmas special was about creatures trying to get a baby and then this one has a very similar plot. What's the obsession with babies? Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 2 The Devil's Cord, written by Russell T Davies. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 2 The Devil's Cord will air alongside Space Babies as a two-part premiere and will almost certainly star Jinx Monsoon's character in a villainous Doctor Who role. Not only does Monsoon's musical costume connect to the musical theme of The Devil's Cord, but the floating black notes in the episode title's announcement are identical to the notes Monsoon's villain is wielding against Ruby Sunday in Doctor Who trailer footage. Based on the costume Ruby is wearing during that scene, The Devil's Cord is also the highly anticipated 1960s themed Doctor Who Season 1 story. I am a sucker for episodes set in the past, but the whole idea of a musical episode puts me off greatly. It could be fantastic and the songs could work, but I just don't know. As for Jinx Monsoon, is drag suitable for Doctor Who, seen as it's usually categorised as adult entertainment and this is supposed to be a family show? At the same time, Jinx's unique appearance, of course being in drag, could complement their role as the episode's villain. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 3 Boom, written by Stephen Moffat. The major headline regarding Boom is the return of former Doctor Who showrunner Stephen Moffat, who has not penned an episode since Peter Capaldi's regeneration story Twice Upon a Time in 2017. What Boom entails is largely unclear, although both the title and its announcement video are indicative of an action-packed sci-fi story featuring lasers, explosions and excitement. Here we go, Stephen Moffat time. Now, Moffat's wrote some of the best episodes in RTD's first era, whether you are talking about The Empty Child two-parter, The Girl in the Fireplace, Blink, or even The Library two-parter. He wrote some god-tier episodes. I pray that he is able to make me fall in love with at least this episode, even if I end up hating the rest. Like RTD, though, this is not the same Stephen Moffat that we have writing for the show all those years ago. This is Moffat who has had a talking to, as was clear with the quality of his later stories during Capaldi's run. I guess we will just have to wait and see, but a lot of eyes will be on Boom, that's for sure. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 4, 73 Yards, written by Russell T Davies. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 4, 73 Yards, represents one of the bigger unknowns among the coming releases. The only real clue derives from the announcements video, which shows an old-fashioned English village or pub sign of a spooky tree being struck by lightning. Modern Doctor Who typically includes one scary horror-focused episode per season, blink, hide, listen, etc. Based on the imagery surrounding it, 73 Yards could be that episode for Doctor Who Season 1. This conclusion is supported by several trailer shots that follow the same Victorian horror aesthetic, with one showing a lamp post flickering out of existence. I have been saying for ages that Doctor Who needs more darker stories, and now having read Screen Rant's description of this episode, I am intrigued. When you consider that the main reason I just don't really care about the future of the show, except for the messaging, is because of the campiness. Everything we've seen makes it seem like the show is becoming a parody of itself. An actual episode that puts a halt to the constant gags and pathetic one-liners could actually do well. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 5, Dot and Bubble, written by Russell T Davies. 
A more futuristic effort, Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 5 Dot and Bubble appears to tackle the perils of virtual reality and digital existence. The title announcements video for this episode hides a blurry background of what appear to be social media profiles, and this correlates with trailer footage that shows a young blonde woman dressed in pastel, an unknown member of Doctor Who Season 1's cast. If there is a Doctor Light episode in Doctor Who Season 1, Dot and Bubble looks to be the most likely contender. Until now, I had no idea about this episode. Doctor Light episodes have worked exceedingly well before. Yes, even Love and Monsters, which is such an underrated episode. Yeah, come at me. The only thing that makes me go, err, is the fact that it appears that Russell was doing social commentary on the specifics of technology with this episode. And after we saw how Russell poorly tackled the topic of cancel culture in The Giggle, I wonder, can he actually still create a story that fairly looks at these issues without going after one particular side? Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 6, Rogue, written by Kate Heron and Bryony Redman. I hope I've pronounced those names correctly. Destined to become known as the Bridgerton episode, Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 6, Rogue, takes place on May the 8th, 1813, and will co-star Jonathan Groff as a villain. Judging by the futuristic weapon he carries in trailer footage, Groff will be playing a time traveller posing as a native of 19th century Britain. Rogue will also contain a cameo from former Doctor Who star David Tennant, albeit only as a holographic image. Names revealed in the title announcements video include the Duchess of Pemberton, Lord Adams, Lord Alex, Lord Edward and Lord Smith. The last to name on that list could be the 15th Doctor revisiting his classic John Smith alias. I did talk about this episode in quite a bit of detail during my trailer breakdown. We saw that the Doctor and Jonathan Groff's character looked to have some sort of connection, which I don't like the idea of, and that goes for female romantic interests for the Doctor. I hate them. I did briefly touch upon the rumours that Groff's character will be revealed as Captain Jack Harkness. Please don't let that be the case. I assume he's going to be a time agent. His weaponry and the title Rogue support that. But please just let him be another time agent. And that way we can see a variety of them. Not just another Captain Jack Harkness or Captain Hart. Who were essentially the same character in Torchwood anyway. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 7, The Legend of Ruby Sunday, written by Russell T Davies. 2023's Christmas special whipped up a whirlwind of mysteries and questions around Doctor Who's Ruby Sunday, with massive teases over her parentage, her wider significance to the universe, and her mysterious neighbour, Mrs Flood. It appears that Doctor Who Season 1 will eventually get around to answering these questions in its penultimate episode, The Legend of Ruby Sunday. The contents of this story are predictably unknown at present, but the episode title alone confirms a full explanation of Doctor Who's Ruby Sunday mystery is coming, and an entire hour will be dedicated to unravelling it. I have consistently said that the most interesting aspect of this season to me is Ruby's character because of the mystery, but how they handle that could make or break the character and the story for me. For example, if they use the girl who's the key to everything trope, which Moffat tended to lean into in his own era, then I'm not for that. I prefer companions to just be regular humans unless they are obviously an alien. I don't like this whole she looks like a girl from London, but really she is a god type of thing. Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 8, Empire of Death, written by Russell T Davies. As the finale of Doctor Who Season 1, it comes as no surprise that virtually nothing is known about Empire of Death. Russell T Davies is hardly likely to give away salient details about his big finish when the opening bars haven't even been played yet. I thought that The Legend of Ruby Sunday was going to be the finale, as the title seems pretty fitting for a finale, but I guess it's The Empire of Death, which, as Screen Rant says, there isn't really much information to discuss. So to wrap this video up, we seem to have an interesting collection of episodes, some quite clearly silly and a bit of fun, and others seemingly dark and serious, so I just hope that one of those extremes are to my liking. I'll probably much prefer the darker ones, like 73 Yards, but tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.